if you come to this my channel you will notice that i have a video here that teaches how to reduce video size without losing quality that is when you click on this video you will be able to learn and the tool that i thought that will be used to do this is known as handbrake the problem is that when you have a vertical video it is going to mess up the video by adding black bars let me show you what i mean like this is a vertical video if i drag it to handbrake in order to reduce the size just go to the video i just showed you so that you see the process I will not take much time to do this setting again. I will put the link to that video in the description box. So let me just quickly click on start and it will start the process. I will pause the video and come back when the process is complete. So the process is now complete. Let us look at the video. The location is in a folder known as video. Let me get it. So here is the new converted video. If you check the previous one, you will see that it is 48.5 megabytes why this new one is 11.8 uh, megabytes. It has actually reduced the size, but the problem now is that this particular one is now a square video. Let me further show you. If I right click here now and click on properties, then under details, you will see that the frame width is 1080 by 1080. That is frame height is also 1080. Unlike this previous one, which is Let's go to property again under details. You see that this one is 1080 by 1920. So the issue now is how to set handbrake so that it will be able to maintain this vertical video. Okay, let's do this. So I will open my handbrake again, but this time I will not just start to convert it. What I will do is to save new preset. So I will click on this button. Once I click on it, I will decide the name of that preset. For example, I can call it vertical videos. After that, you come down here and put descriptions if you want. Otherwise, you go on to choose the category. You can add a new category or you just leave it. Then the resolution is 1080 HD. That is high definition, but we are not going to use this particular one. This is the exact one that caused problem for us. So we need to change it to custom. Don't use any of this. You change it to custom. Under custom, you are going to interchange this number. Bring 1080 here, then put 920 this side. Then after that, you are going to leave the audio and subtitles the way they are. Don't mess around with it. Then click on add button. Once you do that, the next thing you are going to do is to enable this web optimize. This is because you are going to post it online, whether YouTube shorts or Instagram stories or Facebook rail or even TikTok. Now, the next thing is to go to dimension. You will see that the video size is now 1080 by 1920. This is exactly what we want. And if you are confused about 1080 and 1920, all these sizes are confusing you. Let me show you which size to choose whenever you are converting video aspect ratio or dimension. So let's go to my website. If you come to this website, partwugu.com and press enter. The next thing you will need to do is to come to tools here. From tools, you will see a menu here that shows video dimensions. Just click on it. The next thing you are going to do is to select a particular video dimension. For example, if I choose 1080 by 1920, that is nine is to 16 aspects ratio. It is going to tell you that this is full HD, nine by 16, and it is ideal for mobile videos and stories and reels you can see platforms where this particular size of video is suitable or compatible look at the size of that video if you change it to another one say this one it will automatically change the dimension here you will also see the platform that is suitable for this particular size of video that is how to know this one is square video it will change this and this one is four is to five. So anyone you choose, it will definitely going to tell you that this is for this. 
I will also put the link to this website in the description box below. Now let's go back to our tutorial. So from here, you can see the video tab. What I would like to do here is to change this slide to 26 or 23, depending on your preference. 26 works for me for horizontal video, while 23 works for me for vertical videos. Once this is done, you decide the location where you want to post this video. Then you click on start encoding. Immediately you do that, it will start here to encode. I will also pause this video and come back when the process is complete. Okay, it has completed the process. Let us go and open the video. As you can see, I now have the three videos here. And this original one is still 48.5 megabytes. The second one is 11.8 megabytes, but a square size. While this one we just did is 16.7 megabytes and it is vertical video the way we want it. If you have watched up to this stage, please kindly subscribe to my channel. I have a lot of viewers who are not subscribers. Please kindly subscribe and also stay tuned because there is something else that I want to show you. Assuming you have a lot of presets on your handbrake and you want to delete some or change something there. What you will need to do is to open your handbrake. Once you open that, you come to this preset, you will see all the presets you have. You can then right click and then choose delete if you want. So that is how to do this preset. I hope this video was helpful. Please share it with your loved ones. If you have any question or any video that you would like me to make, drop them in the comment section. Until next time, keep learning.